Okay, this uh, lesson is a review for Chapter 2 in Foundations of Math 20. So this is your review assignment that's in the textbook. So I'm just going to go over quickly some of the questions uh, and just give you hints on where to start. So number one, um, camotics are sleds that are drugged behind vehicles. Identify sets of parallel lines and transversal in the, in the photograph. Okay, if you look at that photograph there, you could uh, superimpose some lines here. These lines appear to be parallel, the slats here, right? If those are parallel lines, what's one of the transversals? Well, if you look at this rib right here, that's a transversal. So you can look at that. Um, these two lines uh, appear uh parallel, and then the slots would be a transversal. Just because of the perspective, this distance is a little bit smaller than this distance, so I would probably go with these slots being the perpendicular ones. Okay, so question number two. Name pairs of corresponding angles. Well, if you look at this diagram, you can still name corresponding angles. Those angles won't be equal if they're not parallel, but you can still call them uh, corresponding. So, pairs of corresponding angles, A and E are corresponding. The same orientation attached to a different line, but the same transversal. C and F, of course. Uh, D and H, and G and B. Those would be corresponding angles. And the follow-up question to that, of course, would be, are these angles equal? Are any of the pairs equal? Well, these lines aren't parallel, so no, the pairs of corresponding angles that we've identified are not equal. Why? Because the two lines that the transversal cuts are not parallel. Okay, so for questions three and four, if you're trying to find the values of A and B here, you take your relationships between the angles um, formed by a transversal and parallel lines, and A is going to be the same, that's corresponding, right? So A is 35 degrees. And B, okay, because A and B are supplementary, B is 180 minus 35, or B is 145. So there's A and there's B. For number four, is AB parallel to CD? Well, if they were parallel, if these two lines were parallel, Okay, this line and this line, then we would see that this angle would have to be equal to this one, right? Because those are corresponding, <coughs> right? Um, this one would have to be equal to this one, because that's alternate interior. So let's just check. We know that these pairs of angles have to add up to 180, because that's a straight line. So 140 would have to add to what here? 40 to get 180, right? So is this the same as this one that's given? Yes. So yes, they are parallel. And you could either explain or just show your work here. Um, you know, this would have to be 40. Okay, just a couple more questions on the review here for you. Determine the values of A, B, and C. I had a lot of questions about B. So I'll do B for you. Um, okay, so how can you find out these values? You're not given any numbers here, but what you do know is you do know a few things. You know that these should be equal. Okay, well that doesn't really help us. 3a equals b. We can write that down. But you can't really get anywhere there. Uh, we know that um, 3a and c, okay? So 3a should equal c as well. Oh, then we know that b should equal c because of the transitive property. But we still haven't gotten anywhere. We haven't identified a, b, or c yet. So what you can do is you notice that 3a and 2a are supplementary, and that's where we have to go. 3a plus 2a equals 180. And in that case, then, you've got 5a equals 180, and then you've got um, 180 divided by 5. What's that? Uh, 36? 36 degrees. So a is 36. Uh, there it is. Yeah, a is 36, and uh, you know that 3a is b, so 3 times 36 should equal b. What's that? Uh, 90, 108. That look reasonable? Yep. 108, that looks pretty reasonable. And you also know, uh, so that is, uh, what did we say? That was b. And so c also equals b, so c should be 108 as well. Okay, I had a lot of questions in class about number 7 here. Um, these proofs can be a little bit tricky, but if you uh, just notice a couple things on the diagram, they've already outlined that these two lines are parallel. That's the first given. Also that QRS, so that's this angle, and TRS, 
That's this one. They're equal, so that's important. And what they're trying to ask you to do is to prove that ST, this line right here, and TR are equal. So if those were equal, this right here would be a, an isosceles triangle. So how can we do that? Well, we can prove those two sides are equal if we can show that the two angles that, that are opposite them are equal. So how can I prove that this angle right here is the same as this one? Now, that's where we're going to go. So what you do then is you look back and you say, these lines are parallel, <coughs> so alternate interior angles are equal. Okay, so you could uh, write down your givens there, but you want to say that angle Q R S is equal to angle T S R, and that's because of alternate interior angles are equal. And then because um, we've got angle Q R S is equal to angle T R S, and that's in the given. Right? And so if you have um, QRS, they're both it's equal to both of these angles, so these angles must be equal to each other. So TSR and TRS, those ones. So angle TSR is equal to angle TRS, and that's transitive. And then so then you can say that RT is equal to TS which is basically what you're asked for and that's because that's properties of isosceles triangle so that would be your two column proof if you just wanna uh, state that whatever however way you want to that's fine you wanna write in a paragraph or whatever so a statement and reason So that's number seven. Uh, if you look at number eight, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to see that 40 is equal to x because these lines are parallel. So alternate interior, that's 40. Z is 45 because of alternate interior. And so 40 plus 45 plus y equals 180. You can solve for y. Also, this is 68. And you can figure out what Z is, because the angles of a triangle equal 180. And then when you add this one, plus whatever you find Z to be, that's equal to Y. Okay, so that should uh, give you some help for that uh, review assignment. There will be a few other questions that I'll let you uh, work on. But here's your review assignment again, and uh, yeah, good luck with that.